Speaker, they're great at talking the talk, but not walking the walk. The European Union will remain Scotland and the UK's largest export market for some time to come. Yet this government has done nothing to remove or even ease uh, non-tariff bar barriers, bureaucracy or Brexit red tape, or indeed uh, do anything about the labour shortages which are hampering uh, exporters. They have spent the last year, Mr Speaker, decimating the fishing industry and their livelihoods. This year, why are they going after the farmers with the Australia and New Zealand trade deals already roundly condemned by the farming industry, set to see floods of cheap, lower quality meat and dairy product products exported into the UK from around the globe? Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, all I can say to him, gentlemen, it's a good job I'm leading the exports and not him, because all he ever says is problems. I have to say, but we are doing stuff. We are doing exports. It is simply not true that the government is doing nothing. I've been out to the markets. I'm not sure whether the Scottish lead on exports has done many overseas visits. I'm happy to work with the SNP if they'd actually come out and do something. But I have to say that we are removing trade barriers. We've already said poultry to Japan, but it's lamb to the USA. We are working with the Gulf states, increasing halal sales, Welsh lamb. But it is simply not true that this country will be flooded with cheap imports. Simply not true. Pure scaremongering. Yeah. Well, I think we'll go to Bilesters. <laughs> <laughs>